Hello and welcome to this um, fifth tutorial um, regarding PDO and about accessing um, data in a database. Okay. Um, if you haven't been watching the previous four tutorials then I suggest you go back to the beginning and watch them. Um, this video itself is going to be about using the PDO statement method of fetch. Okay, so we've already talked about how to connect to a database etc and extract data um, but we're going to use a little bit a different method this time. So we're going to make our variable ready for our PDO statement and we're going to say then um, PDO and we can use the prepare statement as before and we'll say select everything from users and we're not going to add any other um, parameters or anything like that we just want to loop through every every single person. Now the prepare statement will either return false or it will return a PDO statement. Okay therefore <coughs> we know that our SMT um, variable is either going to be an instance of PDO statement or return false or be false. Therefore, we can just say if statement. I mean, we could say if instance of PDO statement for etc. Um, for example, and that would suffice. But um, why type more than you actually have to? Okay, so we say if um, SMT. We know it's true. Therefore, we know by default it is a PDO statement. Um, we know that's okay so realistically speaking we can then just say if SMT um, execute because um, if that did have an issue then that wouldn't be um, an instance of a PDO statement therefore if we if we called any methods on this um, we get an error saying that um, you cannot call um, this method on a non-object example uh, for example um, Okay, so we're then going to execute the query. Now, once we've executed the query, we know that we're going to have some results um, with inside of the object, and we want to be able to loop through these results. So we have a couple of methods of doing it. Now, if you're um, happy with MySQL, we used to use then um, MySQL underscore fetch underscore associate or um, uh, fetch underscore object and so on. So with this, we're just going to say row equals then SMT and fetch. It works really in exactly the same way. Um, the fact of the matter is it's going to um, then iterate through the different rows. It's got to keep a counter cursor in the background of which row it was on last then it's going to give out all of the information for, um, and so on. So uh, just as before we know this is going to come back by default as um, an array therefore um, we can just say echo uh, row and the column name that we were interested in was the name. Just keep going through and when um, row is equal to false then we know that this while loop will stop. Okay, So let's come here and find the right page and as you can see here it then um, gets all four entries in the database as you can see there. Now another method um, naturally to do it would be then to um, change the data type which it's going to return from an associated array to then um, a standard class. Therefore we give it a parameter of PDO and then fetch object and this time that will cause an error. And we'll just say name instead. Go back to Firefox, press F5, it's going to be exactly the same because it's doing the same thing, it just happens to be returning a different data type. Now, um, just to show you the different types that we can have, we've got fetch underscore associ for associated array, um, class if you want to use a class, um, lazy as well, just to show you the difference in lazy, if we um, then print our, uh, this out so you can see the difference in um, what it's going to return. So as you can see here it's a PDO row object, let's just put a a pre in here so you can see. Okay so it's a PDO row object and as you can see here we've got the query string, the user ID and the name and so on and so on and so on. Lots of data that we really just don't need. Um, it still comes back as a class as well which is kind of nice but do we really need it? No. It, it's the minimal data that we need. Um, therefore I'm much prefer to just say uh, object itself and do this 
and then we get the standard class object. Now, if you look closely, you can see then. Um, let's have a look at the manual once again. Just to show you. Okay, you can see the fetch style, as we already said, with the PDO um, fetch. Uh, associate and fetch objects and then you've got cursor orientation and so on which I really just don't want to get into now because sometimes you just don't need these things okay so the fetch is a, a nice simple way for you to do it uh, I much prefer to do um, fetch all and then say which data type we want it in um, but each to their own once again um, so that's basically another way uh, to look at this and to do it now if you didn't want to use a while loop um, you could use a for loop instead so let's just say uh, x equals 0 and then row equals um, smt fetch for example and then just say x um, plus plus and let's just echo out uh, x and put space and then row name and then whoops go back go back go back just put a break again. I mean, it's just doing things a different way, and we get the same thing. Okay, so it's it's just going to keep on going uh, until this returns null or it which returns false, and this loop then stops. Okay, so it it really depends on how you want to do it, but using fetch all is a nicer way um, to do it. I I see. Now, the one thing that MySQL um, functions did have was then the MySQL underscore num underscore rows, which was all, all uh, always nice. Now, essentially, if you then uh, say fetch all, you know that you're going to get back an array. Okay. Now, uh, we'll just say where name equals. Uh, come in here or now let's do where uh, user ID is more than uh, 20 for example let's just say let's do it properly and then we we'll just bind it instead uh, it's not really what I wanted to show you but we'll do it anyway okay so now we're binding that correctly and basically we're we're not going to get back any results which is what I wanted so let's just print our uh, rows just to show you what we are actually going to get back come here and we get back an, an empty array now the fact is that getting back an empty array tells us how many rows there are okay because um, we can just turn around and say if counts rows is more than zero is the same kind of thing you know it, it's basically saying hey are there more than more than one uh, is there more than zero rows um, so that's kind of uh, one thing which you can do um, as well now you can extend the PDO statement to add your own method of um, get num rows but um, when you start doing this you, you start working these things out properly of how you're going to do it so you need to kind of detach yourself from how you used to work with the MySQL um, functions itself and then find out your new way of doing it within the PDO library in instead okay so that's just a, another introduction to um, how you can extract data from the database um, we'll continue with other stuff in the next tutorial okay my name is David Thorne from Thorne Web Design um, be nice if you could subscribe like it leave a comment give any feedback send me a message thumbs up um, share do any of those social networking things that you want to do okay hopefully you've learned something that's the most important part of this all right so bye-bye um,